know I turned wrong Left your heart torn Is that what devils do? Took you so long Where only fools go I shook the angel and young Now I'm rising from the crowd Rising up to you Filled with all the strength I find There's nothing I can't do Hey, you need to get up and make me some Saturday night snacks. Huh? Hello? It's your turn to make dinner. Absolutely not. I did last week. No, I did. Let's just settle this the usual way. One round, loser makes dinner. Rock, paper, scissors. Booyah! <sighs> oh, this is cosy. Right here, this is cosy. Mine's a burger and chips. Love you. Charming. Hi everyone, welcome back to Gage Man's channel. It's Saturday night here. As soon as I've lost the game of rock, paper, scissors, I'll be cooking up the burgers and fries for you. But before that, I'm going to let Goji Man describe what ingredients will be going into the recipe. Hey everyone, happy Saturday evening to you all. I'm just gonna run you through all of these ingredients very quickly before Emma cooks up a feast. So on my right here, we've got some jackfruit, then we've got some cumin ground, some garlic granules, some black pepper. We've also got some smoked paprika. Um, then in the front here, we've got some cherry tomatoes, some black beans, some jalapenos, some cooked uh, brown rice. Then we've got some gluten-free flour. We've got some gluten-free breadcrumbs. Uh, and then we've got some bats or rolls, wherever you come from in the world. Then we've got some gluten-free soy sauce. We've got some chilies. We've got some um, tomatoes. We've got some red cabbage. Uh, then we've got a red onion. Then we've got some garlic, lime, and then we've got some sweet potatoes and also some lettuce. So, are you ready for your cooking debut? Bring it on. Bring it on. First, you want to chop your sweet potatoes into cubes. Next up, you want to put all your sweet potatoes on a baking tray and put them in the oven for around 20 minutes. Into the blender, you want to put your rice, your black beans, your breadcrumbs, your flour and your spices. Next, you want to mould them into burger patties. Cut your sweet potatoes into fries. You need to put these in the oven for 20 to 30 minutes or until they go golden brown. Next we're going to make the smoky jackfruit sauce. This includes a dash of tamari, cherry tomatoes, smoked paprika, a couple of cloves of garlic, chilli, tomato puree, half an onion and half a lime. So chop up the onions, tomatoes and chilies and add them to the pan. Next you want to saute everything off in a pan. Next, you want to chop up your cherry tomatoes. Next, you want to add your tomato puree to a pan with the other ingredients. So the last ingredient for the sauce mix is smoked paprika. So the jackfruit's now in the pan. You just want to stir it in with the rest of the sauce and then leave it to simmer for around 15 to 20 minutes. Next up, you want to shred your red cabbage and add it to your smoky jackfruit mix. Now you need to chop up your lettuce, tomatoes and jalapenos to chop the burger with. Now the ingredients are finished, it's time to plate up. And finally, plate up with your chips. Right, time to feed his lordship. 
This looks incredible. What's your pudding? So I think it's fishing my luck if I ask Emma to make my pudding as well. So I'm gonna make this right now. So I've got some raspberries, some pomegranates, some blueberries, some strawberries, some coconut yogurt. So I'm gonna make this and then we're gonna watch a film. Hey everyone, so it's Future Goji Man here from Sunday morning and I wanted to give you a quick breakdown of our Saturday evening meal. As always, just a quick reminder that the recipes will be available in a free PDF in the description below. Now before I break down the nutrition from the meal, I just wanted to give my quick thoughts on the meal as a whole. So despite being a burger and chips, a high proportion of the ingredients are in the form of whole foods. So yes, there are things like the bread rolls in the recipe that are slightly more processed and refined in nature, but I will generally eat this way on one night a week over the weekend. So if you are eating predominantly whole foods 80 to 90% of the week, a little indulgence at the weekend will not do you any harm. So in terms of the calories, the total calories including the dessert, was 1,165 calories, which accounted for 40.6 grams of fiber. In terms of fat, the meal provided 0.4 grams of omega-3 and also similar amounts of omega-6. In terms of proteins, across all of the essential amino acids, I was generally eating 30 to 40% of my protein requirement in this one meal alone. And just to reiterate, if you are looking at the total day of eating, then you want to aim for around 120% of the protein markers, as the bioavailability of proteins will vary in foods depending on their fiber content. In terms of vitamins, as you can see, B6, vitamin A, vitamin C, and also vitamin K, I have already achieved the minimum amounts required. The other vitamins are well on the way for the full amounts. In terms of the minerals, the meal enabled me to hit my manganese levels, and again, the other markers are well on their way. Next week, I resume the full What I Eat In A Day videos, and I have got some epic videos planned for you. So thanks for watching, and as always, remember to look after your body because it's the only place you have to live. And I'll see you next time.